Hi, right, man, this NFT stuff is ludicrous. Now, in this video, we're gonna go over the most expensive MLB champion NFTs. And yes, that rhyme. But we're not just gonna go over some of them. We're gonna go over the most expensive one that I've seen so far sold today. Okay, so first of all, why are NFTs expensive. Okay, so traditional works of art such as paintings are valuable because they are one of a kind. So I want you to think of back in the day with Leonardo da Vinci, Picasso, Monet, Rembrandt, all of these guys, you know, it was drawn on canvases and it was just one of a kind. Like if you bought that, like you were the, the best. The problem was they had to die thousands or hundreds of years ago and now people profit off of them. But today with NFTs, people can make a lot of money. So keep watching, I'm going to reveal the, <laughs> the most expensive one that I've seen of the MLB champion NFTs, okay? So are NFTs valuable? Unlike crypto coins, which are identical and worth the same, NFTs are unique. So these are different, they are all different, okay? And NFT is worth what someone is willing to pay for it which can be a lot if the NFT is made by a famous artist and, by, uh, and the buyer is a wealthy collector. For instance, if your favorite um, celebrity or your favorite rapper or influencer was to come out with his own NFT of them doing your favorite uh, move or quote or song or pose or whatever it is that they're popular for, they can sell that for a crap load. There's been people that sold their draws for millions of dollars on eBay that are celebrities, which is retarded to me. So yes, NFTs are going to be extremely valuable. Now let's get back over here and I'm going to show you. All right, so this is MLB Champions. I'm on the nonfungible.com website where you can purchase pretty much a lot of these NFTs with either cash or with ETH. We're going to come over to this page. I'm not going to make you go through all of these. We're gonna go straight to this one right here. All right, so MLBCB, uh, number 33543, MLB champions. All right, so the first sale price was $181. I need you guys to see the flip on this. Okay, it was $181, and the last sale price was 4,020. <laughs> I'm tripping, that's how crazy it is. It was 4,230. So look at that. All right, so on, it sold for 181. And then it's resold for four grand, man. All right, that's, that's freaking crazy. So are these things valuable? Oh, like they said, you can put a price on. It's not really the art that's valuable anymore. Nowadays with social media and influencers and all of that, if you're just super popular or some type of celebrity, you can sell a piece of crap. And if you say this is the only one of its kind or, or, or the most unique one of it, then people will pay extra and extra and won't even have to read all about it. Real talk, okay? So what do you guys think about a $4,230 sale on one of these MLB champion NFTs when it was bought in at 181 dollars when you like that type of flip, let me know, man. Let me know in the comments. I will see you guys, Lars Will, next time.